just uh, trying to set the gear up here. Mike is far away from me, so uh, see you in the video. <laughs> to give me everything so when I should I know cause when I get out of you you make me feel all okay when I'm home everything seems to be right when I'm home feeling you home baby tight tight yeah it's me I just um, want to make a little follow-up on the uh, last uh, video because um, I found a uh, funny recording, I think it's from 2011 and uh, that's uh, just around the moment I started to experiment with this 4-mic uh, setup on the drums. Uh, it's uh, the inspiration came from uh, a guy in the US, um, a very famous uh, guy, interviewed. Uh, I don't know when. Uh, actually, I don't really remember. Uh, I think it was on an AMP show or something. Uh, the guy was Eddie Kramer. Um, he uh, did some explanation on how he got the drum sound on the Little Supplant records and I realized that uh, there must be another way around this than uh, doing a multi-mic setup so uh, that's when I started to experiment with this and I found an old recording um, this is actually done with another mixer uh, which I had at the time um, but it's in the early ages of uh, digital so um, this piece of music is recorded live uh, in close to the same way with a little different mics uh, I remember as far as I remember it's uh, C1 uh, overheads from Studio Projects at the time when I was involved in in that. Uh, they are uh, far cry from uh, the ones I use now, but still it sounds decent. So uh, take a listen to it and enjoy it. Uh, by the way, it's my uh, my wife that sings in this band, and uh, as always, she sings. Beautiful, they never had a, This never became a band. I think it's the only gig they ever did uh, was this one. Uh, uh, I never heard them before they came uh, on stage and played, and uh, it sounded quite decent. So, uh, cool band. I wish they continued because I think the concept is good. Um, I think it's important to appreciate that you don't use a lot of time on your setup. Um, 
I think it's very important for you. And in the long run, uh, it's uh, quite important for the performer to don't spend a lot of time on stage before they go on stage and do the show. So this is, uh, in many ways, a means to help you on the way. So um, I think maybe next time uh, I'll be talking a little bit about guitar microphones and. Um, Circle of evil, as I call it, um, and uh, we'll go a little bit into that later on. Okay, so uh, till then, grab a mic and uh, try to do something creative this time. See ya.